Hey guys, so today is such an exciting day because my Blendiful finally came in the mail yesterday and I'm sure you guys have already seen like a billion of reviews for this product but I'm gonna do it too. So I'm almost 100% certain that everybody who's watching this knows what this is but basically it's a makeup applicator tool that Tati Westbrook here on YouTube came out with. It's made of a super soft textured fabric that's designed to be able to apply any liquid, cream, and powder makeup. I paid about $33 Canadian for this little package that comes with the regular full-sized applicator as well as the little mini hard one that's meant to be used for the smaller areas of the face or as a tool to touch up your makeup during the day. I placed my order on December 26th and it arrived in my mailbox on January 10th. So it took a day over two weeks to arrive to me here in Ontario. In this video, I'm also going to show you how I use this little puff to remove some oiliness on my face. And I'm also going to show you how I wash and dry my Blendiful. So let's get started. So first I'm going to go in with some primer and this is the Ordinary's Hide Here in Silicone Primer. And I think I'm just going to prime half of my face and see what happens. In Tati's videos, she actually uses her sponge to apply the primer, but I feel like it's better to use your fingers because primer is meant to be like pushed into the skin to fill the pores and stuff. I just feel like what better tool to use to push in products than your fingers, right? So I'm just gonna prime the right side of my face because I, you guys know, you know I have dehydrated skin right now because it's winter time and my skin just reacts terribly to the cold. And I have like dry flakes around my nose and I'm just curious to see if applying my makeup with the Blendiful will make those areas stand out more because this, you know, it's a dry makeup tool versus like a beauty sponge that you wet and it adds moisture to your skin. I feel like this might remove some moisture if you know what I mean. For my foundation today, I'm going to be using my trusty Maison Snail Repair Intensive BB Cream. I love this BB Cream. It always makes my skin look so smooth and so flawless. And I usually only need like this much, like one pump for my entire face. So let's go ahead. Ooh, wait. In the videos that I've seen of her using this Blendiful, she does this. Let me show you. She puts her fingers inside and then she kind of like squeezes it to create this little taco shape thing. But I feel like it's more comfortable if I do it like this, like one finger inside. And then she picks up the foundation or BB cream, whatever, and then she kind of puts it on her face like this. And then once it's on, she kind of just pats it in. Okay. So far, it looks fine. Mm, it is applying really easy and really quickly because look how big it is. This is like one third of my face around my nose wow the application is so fast like i'm done already this side of my face it feels really gentle it feels so like plush on your face because there's like a little sponge on the inside and the material itself is so soft so so far i am enjoying this whole experience Ah, I'm noticing a few little fibers coming off the sponge onto my face. But I think that's okay because even when I buy like new brushes, they do shed the first time I use them. But you know, this does accentuate dry areas just a little bit. I didn't prime this side of my face and I can definitely see a little bit of the dry patches around my nose. Like it's not anything too bad. But yeah, I see it. It's there. Ooh, also, I can see that this is making my BB cream apply more like a full coverage BB cream. But with this, it's completely dry, so you're really just packing and pressing the makeup into your skin and there's nothing to thin it out. So this is definitely a good tool for anyone who likes that full coverage look. And I think I'm pretty much done. So. This is the side without primer, and this is with primer. Side with primer definitely looks better. There is a difference. So if you do have dry patches, definitely, definitely use a primer. I'm just gonna go in with some concealer. I don't feel like I really need concealer today, but just to test out the sponge. 
Let me go in and apply just a little bit. This is the NARS Creamy Concealer, which in my opinion is exactly like the Wet n Wild, I believe it's called, Photo Focus Concealer. Yeah, that applied nicely. So quick, it's so quick, I love this. Okay, what's next? I think I'm gonna go in with some powder because in her videos she always bakes. So here I've just got a little bit of the Kat Von D loose powder. I'm just gonna apply that underneath my eyes. I haven't baked in so long. I'm excited to see what this looks like. Let me also do a little bit on my forehead and down my nose. Okay, so that looks good. While that's baking, I'm gonna leave that for like 10 minutes. Let's move into some contour. So I don't, ooh, no, I need to do blush first. But I don't have any cream blushes because my sisters took it. Again, always taking my makeup. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna go in with some powder blush, but I wanna contour a little bit. Should I contour? Okay, let me contour. This is from Smashbox. It was one of their Masterclass palettes. Um, I don't think they sell it anymore, but they do have other Masterclass palettes that are just as good as this one, so. I'm just taking it, making a little taco again, and I'm going to dab it into the contour. I'm just going to push that into here, the hollows of my cheeks. And on this side. I have to say, this is really easy. I feel like that looks good already. Ooh! I might get back into contouring. You know I stopped contouring with creams because it took so long to blend out. Now let's go in with some blush even though it's powder. I'm sure it'll be fine. Dab, dab, dab. And then on the apples and sweep up. Ooh, makeup is looking so good. My favorite nude lipstick is this one by YSL. What's it called? Nude in... Nude in... It doesn't say, I swear it said before. So I'm done my makeup, let's do a little close up. Look how flawless it looks. Primed side, no primer. This side does look a little bit better in person, it just does. But this side still looks really good, so I'm happy. Hey guys, so it has been about two hours. <laughs> I know I kind of jumped from the last scene to this one, but the mailman knocked on my door while I was filming, so I stopped and then I ate and then I watched YouTube videos, so I left it at a weird place in my last clip. But I just wanted to come back and show you guys that I did get a little bit oily just a little bit, but I wanna see if this can remove some of the oil because I did see on Tati's video, I believe it was one of Tati's video where she said you can use this to blot away excess oil and I'm sure it will work. Like I'm positive it will work because obviously it's cloth. Also, it will absorb any oil that's on my face. I have a little bit of oil just here. Let me just pat this in. To see what happens and I have nothing on the sponge right now yeah it worked how could it not work you know but this is such a handy little thing to just throw into your purse oil is gone makeup looks nice and fresh again and nothing was picked up on the sponge so it just removed the oil before I end the video let's go wash it and see how easily the makeup comes off I have a feeling it's gonna come off really easily because it doesn't even feel wet or anything. It feels really soft and dry to the touch. It doesn't even feel matted down or anything. It just still feels fluffy. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and wash this now. You can see the foundation here, the little bit of contour that I used. The other side of the puff I didn't even use at all. So I'm going to wet it first and then apply some of the face wash that I'm currently using, which is this Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser. And then I'm gonna try and rinse it off.
to do one squeeze. Ugh, I don't know why that was so hard. And then I'm just gonna rub it in like this. Actually, I think I might need two squeezes. That's better. Yeah, about this much. And I'm just going to massage it into the puff. And you can see that the foundation is coming off really easily. Let me do it down here too. And uh, there we go, super clean, as good as new, and it was even easier to clean than my beauty blender. I'm gonna blow dry it now because I personally wouldn't just leave this on my desk to air dry away because I don't want any bacteria to build up on it. So I'm gonna do that and see how long it takes. So there we have it, completely dry, and it took three minutes. It still feels as soft as it did when I first got it, and it's completely clean too. So if I were to rate this out of 10, I would give it a 9 out of 10. I think you might have already expected that because you saw how much I loved it. It was so easy to use. It feels very intuitive. Like it's easy to just manipulate the shape to fit around your face, around the small areas of your face, the larger areas. And it made the application of my BB cream so quick and easy also so soft i don't feel like i'm pulling or tugging on my skin at all it just feels so like plush on your face like, i like that it's not wet you don't have to wet it to use it which is a pet peeve of mine actually i always forget to wet my beauty blender and then i sit down but then i have to get up and wet it then come back and sit down you know and then when you're done using it it stays damp it just sits there on your table until you use it again and i feel like sponges accumulate a lot of bacteria for that reason but with this i was able to apply a full face of makeup and it's still dry so I feel like this is definitely more hygienic and I do like that you also get this cute little mini puff I think it's useful for again applying powder or makeup to the smaller areas of your face or doing touch-ups it's also really easy to clean really easy to dry you guys saw that I blow dried it dry blue dry it dry blow dried it dry blow dried it <laughs> blow dried it dry you guys saw that I dried it with a blow dryer <laughs> And the texture still feels really nice. It still feels as soft as it did when I first got it. It just feels so soft on my face. You know what it feels like? It feels like, you know those like really plush blankets you get from like Winners or Marshalls, you know? It feels like decorative like this, like this blanket. It feels like soft like this. I wonder if I applied my makeup with Okay, that's just ridiculous. The reason I gave it 9 out of 10 is because I think that $33 is just a little just a little bit steep for this. I would have liked it to be like $20 instead of $33. Although for Americans, it's definitely cheaper. For Canadians, we have to pay a little bit more, you know? I think that anyone would enjoy this product, especially if you like more of the full coverage look because this definitely made my BB cream look full, full coverage, you know, because it's a dry applicator tool. It's not wet like a beauty sponge that tends to thin out your makeup. This just, yeah, just packed it in and gave me that full coverage look. But I will say, because it is a dry makeup tool, it can potentially make your dry areas look even more dry. If you have dry or flaky skin, you definitely will need primer or you'll need to exfoliate first. Okay guys, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, as usual, leave them down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to me if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next one.